everyone. This is Jeanette Walsh from DublinAcademy.net. Let's get started on the next lecture on Video Promo Essentials. I'll be showing you my actual script that I used to deliver my pitch on national TV on the HLN Clark Howard Show. Create Script Overview. The script length is 30 seconds to two minutes. It can be shorter or longer as you wish. What do you want to say? Breaking the script down into sections. Gathering information for your script. Testing and practicing. Let's go over the script length. The script length is 30 seconds to two minutes. It's shorter or longer. It's really what you want to deliver. It's often called a pitch, an elevator, or resume video. And the best thing to do is to memorize your script so you'll be able to use it later on in job interviews or anywhere you want to promote yourself. Remember, it's the tell me about yourself question that you will be able to answer in a job interview. So what do you want to say? What do you want to tell people about yourself that is so important and why you should get a job or be promoted or land the next thing that you're trying to promote? This is really your time to shine. You'll be able to tell people about your education, your work, volunteer experience, skills and expertise, honors and accomplishments. And remember, tell the world in a short time period, 30 seconds to two minutes. It's really the time to shine and not a time to be shy. Let's go over gathering information for your script. First thing you want to do is contact people that you trust. Ask them, what do you think my best qualities are that I can offer in a workplace or potential employer or maybe some other situation. Tell them you're trying to put together a video and you want their honest feedback. And of course, thank them in advance. I found the best way is to do email. People will respond if they want to help you. And if you call them, it might be difficult for them to take the time to help you. And then make a list of your best qualities. What do you think your best qualities are? And then you just have to wait for the feedback and start writing your script. Breaking down the script into sections. The intro. Who you are and what you do. The next are your core talents and attributes. Outstanding career points. How you are improving yourself and your career. And then at the end, a call to action. What do you want to say at the end to get someone to hire you or interview you or take some sort of action. Okay, this is the pitch script that I used that appeared on national TV in 2012. My complete script when it aired was 35 seconds. So it was actually five seconds over what they had actually allotted. They didn't care. They liked it. It was part of an interview on national TV in the United States 
HLN Clark Howard show and the video was selected. I had a video that was selected that was part of CNNI report and that's how I got to do my pitch video. And here we go. So this is the script. I'll, I'll just be reading it. I'm Jeanette Walsh, a communication professional and multimedia journalist. I'm a highly motivated, educated, versatile communication professional that has brought my skills to many industries. I've worked for the New York Times Company. I've owned a Dutch registered photo agency. I've worked in public relations, media relations, social media, and more. I continue to update my skills, even without a job, producing videos as a citizen journalist for CNN iReport. Want innovation? Then hire me. We'll be a great team together. Okay, there obviously wouldn't be legs between the sentences, but this is really the script broken down. Intro. Who are you? The first section of your script. Here's what I said. I'm Jeanette Walsh, a communication professional and multimedia journalist. What you can say. You can say your name and your profession. And if you are a recent college graduate, field of study, type of job you are searching for, it's up to you to decide. Four talents and attributes. Here's what I said. I'm a highly motivated, educated, versatile communication professional that has brought my skills to many industries. It's sort of an overview. I'm not saying every job I worked at, and I'm telling some of the key attributes that I have. Highly motivated, educated, versatile, communication professional. What you can say. What's so special about you? Ask your friends and family what they think you are really good at. Ask yourself what you think your qualities are and combine them so you have a list that makes you shine. Outstanding career points. Here's what I said. I worked for the New York Times Company. I've owned a Dutch registered photo agency. I've worked in public relations, media relations, social media, and more. I thought this was the most significant part of my career, and so that's how I wrote it. Here's what you can say. This is the most important part of your career or volunteer work. If you've worked in several areas, you can list them in a general way or depending on what type of work you're searching for. Career and self-improvement. Here's what I said. I continue to update my skills even without a job, producing videos as a citizen journalist for CNN I report. Now, I actually say I don't have a job by saying that, but I was having difficulty looking for work, and eventually I started my own photo agency, or I now call it Jeanette Walsh Media. So that was fine for then. I would probably rework that if I were to, do, if I were to deliver that today. Here's what you can say. Are you learning new skills or attending classes? What makes you a person an employer wants to have working for their company? So maybe you're taking time to learn on your own, like at Udemy or local community college or a night course, how to make websites or develop some particular skills with software, or you're trying to improve yourself somehow. An employer might want to know that. A future employer might want to know that. And this is the time you can tell them. 
Career and Self-Improvement. Here's what I said. I continue to update my skills even without a job producing videos as a citizen journalist for CNN I report. This sentence could backfire because I'm actually saying I didn't have a job, but it also shows I was imp improving myself by producing videos. And I think an employer would think, wow, this person doesn't have a job, but is using their time wisely. So that's a good sentence, I think. Here's what you might think about. So what are you learning? What new skills are you trying to acquire? And are you attending some class, taking some sort of improvement course on udemy.com, like web design, or trying to learn some software that would look good on your resume and in an interview and help land you a job? Basically, how are you improving your career and really improving yourself. And if you're doing that, you will help your future employer. And if an employer can't see that, then perhaps they weren't a good match, but the other option is that you could become an entrepreneur because you're being assertive and taking on learning as a daily part of your life and career. Let's go over test and practice. First, you'll want to email and share your script after you've written it with uh, the people that you originally asked for help or other people. And just tell them you want to get some feedback. What do you think of my script? People do respond. I, I had responses from almost every person that I emailed asking for help. And these people were uh, references, former colleagues, even people that had laid me off. So I really was able to get help from a lot of people. And it kind of makes people feel good that they're helping you. And they really want to see you succeed. As I just said, most people want to see other people succeed. And if they don't respond, well get someone else to help you and then you want to review your comments and suggestions that come back and then edit practice and memorize your script because when you get in front of the camera you want to act like you really know what is going on and you're not reading it from a sheet of paper that it really sounds like it's authentic and it's you this is Jeanette Walsh. I will see you in the next lecture.